So I just read this book by Howard Schultz, ground, uh, From the Ground Up. So this is uh, uh, his biography, he has written it himself. If you don't know who he is, he's the founder of Starbucks, of course, Howard Schultz. So a uh, very interesting book. Uh, he's a great writer in addition to being a great businessman. Um, highly recommend it's very like interesting story he has start with his like tough childhood he really like climbed up from like very humble beginnings his dad was not making much money and he was like working like some shitty jobs and his mo mom wasn't making much money either he was basically like living under or he was living under like a staircase just like Harry Potter like uh, that's how poor his childhood was and uh, then he went to Italy in to Milan and there it was the there was where he found the idea for Starbucks and uh, I even took some notes here from this book because there were some really good points or uh, like ideas like uh, for the business Starbucks first of all he was like uh, he found it on like two things that are very like basic to him we we like coffee it's like something we naturally like it's even something addicting but then even more importantly we like want community and that's the like the biggest thing about starbucks is really the community uh, that when you go into a starbucks it's this kind of certain kind of like atmosphere there every time and <coughs> people go there to like meet their friends or go on a date or maybe even just to read a book or work on their laptop or something so that community is a very strong part of the success of Starbucks that's why they can charge more for the coffee the coffee of course is pretty good too and uh, it's like they it was different of course in America first because he found like this different coffee in Italy in Milan and he brought that kind of to um, America and started with what, just like one humble store um, or like a coffee shop and then of course now it's like everywhere even in China where there is People don't really drink coffee in China, they drink tea. But now even in China, Starbucks is very successful. So, yeah, and then he also talks about like... Uh, he also talks about like how he never wants to like make like purely economic decisions that he always, he always wants to like balance profit with people's needs and not just focus on like the economic profits. And so a very inspiring story. He was also... In sales, that's very inspiring too. Even up to like 30 years old, I think, was when he found Starbucks. Before that, he was just doing sales. Uh, he was selling some kind of machinery, I think. But uh, really, like, inspiring story how he like started very poor. Um, he didn't have like much success at first with this business idea either. Everybody was like starting to give up on him, but he persisted with that. And he also believes that the sales skills had that he learned in the his sales career were very critical to like then later negotiate for like or like uh, raising money for Starbucks and all these negotiations and um, like uh, situations where he needed that pers persuade those persuasion skills so highly recommend picking up this book link is in the description right below the, the this video or it from book deposter, deposter .com. and I will see you in the next video